Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the card we're making today, and this is a funnel card. You open it up, it's got a little party on the inside. Okay, so part of this video has film, been filmed live, and part of it has been pre-recorded. I wanted to make sure that you could be successful at making the tunnel card. So the decoration part was filmed live, but I'm going to remake the making of the actual card, okay? So that's gonna be three pieces of Whisper White cardstock. Two pieces measure five and a half by eight and a half, and one piece measures five and a half by four and a quarter. So we're gonna start with this piece first, the first section or the first piece that measures, um, what is it? <laughs> five and a half by eight and a half. I'm gonna place it on my Simply Score and Scoring tool and I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter. I still have piece number one and I'm gonna remove a half an inch from the back of this section, of this piece, okay? So this is how it's gonna look. So that's piece number one. The second piece, eight and a half by five and a half, we're gonna get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool again we're going to score this at half an inch, four and a quarter, and four and three quarters. Fold on those score lines. Piece number two is done. Now for the third piece, this measures five and a half by four and a quarter, and we want to cut a hair off of, of two sides. Okay, so at the four and a quarter, we're gonna cut just a hair off of the four and a quarter side, okay? That might be a little bigger than a hair. And then on the five and a half inch side, we're gonna do the same thing, just cut a hair off. So there's that. Now we wanna place it back on the four and a quarter side. And what we wanna do is score it at a quarter, quarter inch on both sides. So I'm gonna use my light colored blade for that one and then flip it around and again, score it at a quarter inch. Okay, fold on the score lines. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like. Now, what we're gonna do now is add our circles. So this is our piece number two. We're gonna take the largest circle die. Okay, see how they um, line up with each other? So we're gonna keep our half inch strip over here on the left, and we want to place this um, equal distance between the sides, and this is, I don't know, maybe an inch down from the top. And you can use your purple tape to hold that down. I do want to use another piece for this. Now I'm gonna get the big shot and cut this out. Okay, so we're just gonna run this through. Now we want to gently remove that. And we're gonna keep these two pieces because we're gonna reuse them. And now we want to lay this piece down flat here. And we're going to line up these score lines. So this score line here is gonna line up with that one. And this one's gonna line up with that one. And that's gonna show us where to place our smaller die to cut the window out, okay? So I'm just gonna position that there and there, and then we're gonna add this smaller die right in the center. It doesn't look like it's very much smaller. It's not that much smaller, but it is smaller. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold that down while I remove this piece. And now we wanna cut this out. So I'm gonna get the big shot again. OK, 
Okay, so now we've got our half inch strip over here, okay? We've got this piece here, and then we've got this one. So this is, um, this was one, this is two, and this is three, and that's how they look right now. So what we're gonna do is add a little bit of liquid glue to this strip, and you do not want a lot, so make sure that you only add a little bit, okay? You don't want it seeping out the edges or your card will not work. And then what you're gonna do, lay this piece down, so now you've got your half inch strip over here. You wanna line up this edge to this edge here, okay? And again, you don't want too much glue because if you do, then it's gonna seal this card in places you don't want it sealed. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna fold that over just like that, okay? Now we're gonna take this back panel here and we're gonna attach it to this piece here. This is our first piece that we cut that half inch off the back. So this is gonna to attach to that back piece, okay? So you can put your adhesive on either either layer, whatever's the easiest for you. Okay. I like using the liquid glue because it gives me some wiggle room. So if I don't have it straight, I can slide it a little bit. But then you run risk of of getting adhesive where you don't want it. And if you if that happens, what you can do is take our embossing buddy and run that across it, and that will remove the stickiness from the liquid glue once it's dry, okay? Okay, so here's how it looks right now, okay? Now the next step is we want to attach this piece here to this here and the way that you do this this is the most important part this is what I messed up on my live video this edge here is going to line up to this edge here see when we fold it over that's where it's going to line up so we're going to add our adhesive to this teeny tiny strip right there not a lot of glue just a little so lay it flat and then fold this over, and let's hold that for a second and give that time to dry. Okay? Now this is how it looks right now, see? So then the next step is, we just want to glue this to this. So we're gonna put adhesive here, and then fold this over, okay? Fold it over. Okay, gonna open it up. And then now you just wanna fold it back and forth a few times so that it opens and closes. This does fit in a standard envelope. And um, yeah, so that's how it looks from that angle. And this is how it looks from this angle. Now we're going to go back to the live version because the, the only part I messed up is um, this layer didn't attach pro perfectly when I was uh, filming it. So I wanted to make sure you were able to get this step down. Okay, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. If you need anything, let me know. Uh, the other layers are the Dino Roar Designer Series paper. This measures five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we have another piece that I'm just calling scraps, but technically uh, I've cut it to measure um, like four by four. It can be a little shy of that. Then we're gonna have four dinosaurs that we're cutting out. <laughs> um, Whisper White for our stamping, Pool Party, Old Olive, and Pretty Peacock. We're gonna be here a while, so I hope no one's in a hurry. Yeah, because we have to cut all these out. Like I said, there's lots of dies. Okay, so we're going to start with our stamping first. Because once we get the die cut machine out, we just want to do all of our cutting at one time. Hopefully. I might forget something. So this is from the um, 
what I say that was tags and bloom set and I'm just stamping wishing you the best and this is a set too that you don't you don't you don't have to use this one that's the only image that I'm using from that set and it's just because the words was exactly what I wanted to say now for the inside we're going to be using this one I want to use lots of um, encouragement encouragements right now because everybody's stressed out and worried so I thought both of those were fitting okay so now we're going to take this piece here and we're going to add it to our card front so I'm going to use my liquid glue And I love using liquid glue for this part because if we don't get it on here straight, we can, we have some wiggle room. We can slide it around until we do get it straight. Okay, so here's the front. Now, let's go ahead and cut out all of our pieces. So I'm going to get the big shot. We will start with the greetings. I'm going to cut out this one with the uh, layering ovals. And then I'm going to cut out this one with the stitched shapes. Okay, there's one and two. Now we got to cut these guys out. Actually, let's go ahead and cut this one out first. Let me slide those over. So we're going to cut out a circle out of this one here. And then we're going to take uh, this one and cut out that and this one and cut out that okay now we need two of these so we're going to run that through again and we'll go ahead and cut out a dinosaur or two. We'll cut out the long neck first. I wonder if I can put, what is this, an aerodactyl? Maybe he'll fit down there. Yeah, he's shifting on me. I don't want to mess it up. We'll just do it again, or do it next, I should say. Okay. We're done with the leaves. We're done with Mr. Long Neck. So now we have three dinosaurs left, so. We should be able to make this work. I don't know what that one's called, but he's cute. Grr. Okay, I'll get my purple tape. T-Rex. I think this dude shifted, did he? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my eyes. Okay, 
Okay, before I proceed, I'm going to gather my dies so that I don't lose one. If you've ever lost one, it kind of messes you up forever. <laughs> Especially when it takes you a year to find it. Okay, Mr. Longneck's over here. Oh, I need this little guy. Chase came over last night and made um, David a birthday card. It was Dave's birthday yesterday. And, um, I, you know, he had stamped some when he was younger, but he had not stamped in many years. And I think, quite honestly, he forgot that he had ever stamped before. Um, we, had the, we had the most fun time. It was hilarious. Okay. All of our pieces. So this piece here is actually going to go in there. Now you could cover up that entire section there, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste my paper. That's the only part that's going to get shown. So I'm just going to put some liquid glue on there and slide this in here. Now I'm going to get myself all flustered and mess up again. Okay, hold it there till it dries. Chase messed up last night on uh, David's card. Oh, that's why I messed up. I was talking. Um, and I had to get the old sand eraser out. And he was like, it's okay. Dad won't mind. It's okay if it's messed up. I'm like, well, it bothers me. Um, okay, so now he's going to go down here. But we don't want to add him first. We want to add the greeting first. So this greeting is going to go right there. So we're going to put a little bit of liquid glue. And then I, I know it's almost like you need a third hand to do this. So I'm going to add that layer there. You want to make sure that you see all the, the writing though. So you can't put it too far in there. Okay. And then this dude's going to go here. So you don't you only want to put adhesive like on his head. Cuz he's like flying across there. Like that. And then Mr. T-Rex, he's going to go down here on this second layer. Hopefully y'all can see that. See? Like that. Now, you could put him down here, but I like putting him on the second layer. It's like he's taking a bite out of the greeting. So we're just going to put adhesive down here on the lower part of his body. It doesn't require a lot. I almost used wiggle worm. Let's see. Lower it just a tad. Because then this dude's coming in here. It's like a little party. Give him a second to dry. Now, we're going to take this leaf. Clearly, I need to get some more glue. And we're going to add it to this one. And then we want to add this inside here. Because I felt like I needed to add something over here. Even though he's there, I wanted it to look a little bit like, you know, like a jungle. <laughs> okay. A little party. Now, on the outside... We're going to take this one here and this one here. So I'm just going to put some glue on here and add it to the pool party layer. And then add this to the front. He's going to get popped up 
with dimensionals. Isn't he so cute? Now we're going to take um, a Whisper White Baker's Twine and we're going to tie one bow. I want to curl the end. We're going to set that aside for a second. We need to attach this leaf to this one. And then this is going to get added to the card front. And then let's see, is this, that's a little too big, so we need to trim it just a little bit more. And then we're going to attach it with a glue dot. And now we want to add some um, some of these enamel shapes. And I'm just going to use my take your pick tool. Now, if you don't have the in the tropics dies. You could always use these enamel shapes in place of cardstock. Okay, so let's open it up. <laughs> Pretty cute, right? So you would sign your card here. Your message would go there. I thought about covering that with paper, but then I'm like, no, because the party's here. You want to focus on that. So again, there's the front. And there's the inside. Now let's compare uh, yesterday's or last night's version. Oh, we need to trim that ribbon. He's poking him in the eye. <laughs> okay, so pretty much the same. Um, so here's the one I made last night. Okay, y'all have a great day. If you need anything, let me know. Thank you.